Disclaimer. All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Venki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of my how to hack series. Today I'm going to show you how to hack passwords using brute spray tool. This tool is very simple and very effective. You can perform brute forcing attack to identify passwords of multiple services at one go. So now let's get into an action. I'm going to use Kali Linux as a attacker machine. And uh, now we need to identify the victim machine. To identify the victim machine, I'm going to use angry IP scanner to scan my uh, network so that it will identify all the available machines in that range. As I started IP scanning already, it started discovering all the available machines from my network. We could see one machine which is um, holding multiple open ports. Um, let's try to use that as a, a target machine. I could see from the port numbers, uh, HTTP, FTP and SSH services are already running on the target machine. On top of it, let's do a ping test against the target machine and see whether it is responding properly. Perfect, we are getting a proper response from the target machine. So now it's time to use brute spray tool. Before we do that, let's do one more nmap scanning on the open ports and export the result into an XML file. That XML file can be used as an input to brute spray tool. So now we just completed that XML file creation. Let's validate whether the file created properly or not. Um, we can see here all the port numbers and the complete output of nmap scanning. Now let's get back into terminal and uh, try to install brute spray tool. Generally in Kali Linux that comes by default. If it is not available, we can use apt install command. Once it is installed, we can use a help command to understand the available options. Commands for this tool is very simple. What we just need to do is um, provide the service name and um, username plus password list to perform a brute force. So now let's uh, create a username list just for this example. So I am populating this file with uh, very basic user IDs. Uh, the reason is I'm going to attack one of my own uh, server. Uh, so this is a simple username list. In the real world, hackers will be having a big username list. Also, I'm going to use rockyou.txt file for the passwords, uh, which contains millions of uh, passwords. We can download that from Google. If you want to learn more about it, watch this video. So now we are all set with username list and the password list. Let's start brute spray tool. Uh, what we can do is just type brute spray and then provide hyphen f. Uh, f stands for the file, input file. We need to provide that um, um, XML file, what we got from nmap scanning. And then um, type hyphen q. This will do a quiet brute forcing and then use iPhone hyphen u uh, to pass username list in the same way uh, iPhone p to pass our rockyou.txt file which is nothing but the millions of password list uh, finally we need to uh, give a service name you can pass that through um, iPhone yes so i'm targeting to do a brute forcing attack against ftp service so we can see here brute spray tool picked the target host name from the XML file and started doing brute forcing. Uh, the outcome will be stored under brute spray output directory. Whenever a successful um, username and password identification happens, it will capture that entry in the output directory. This tool is quite faster compared with the other brute forcing tool. You can see it already identified as some um, right password for this um, FTP account. Let us validate whether it is able to log in with this identified username and password. Bingo. I am able to log in with uh, username and identified password from this tool. See here um, it is a successful FTP connection and I am able to execute 
FTP command. Also in the output directory, we can see successfully identified password for each services. So here um, it has created a file for FTP service and it stored all the successful um, username and password. And uh, uh, similar to that, we can perform brute forcing for a different service. So I just changed hyphen S as SSH, which means we are performing brute forcing attack against SSH service. So here we can see it already identified the password for SSH uh, login. And I am able to validate by logging into the target server using identified username and password. And the another beautiful part of this tool is we can perform brute forcing attack against multiple services. So what I did uh, here, I'm passing SSH service and FTP service together into the same command. This tool is performing brute forcing attack for FTP service as well as SSH service. As we see here, this tool already identified right password for SSH service plus FTP service and um, we would be able to log in into the server using these credentials. The another main thing is uh, nmap command produced an XML file with multiple open ports which means multiple open services. If you want to perform brute forcing attack against all the services just use this tool and do not provide any services which means remove hyphen yes tag and execute this command this tool will perform brute forcing attack against all the services which are captured in the xml file and it will help us to identify the right password this will save lots of uh, effort and time and uh, a hacker can perform multiple um, services brute forcing attack at the same time and again all the successful username and passwords will be captured in the text file under output directory and that's all for today guys hope this video is uh, useful also feel free to provide your comments we'll meet you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe my channel see you again